Hey everyone, I started sharing only tank specific UIs and weak auras, but over time I got many requests for me to also make them for non-tank specs. And today I'm releasing my completed and improved monk UI and weak auras for all three specs, covering the Brewmaster, Windwalker, and Mistweaver. In the coming days, I will also publish the other class weak auras. All my user interfaces are entirely free, so you can proceed to download them from my website link in the description below. In the links in the description, I will also provide links to two videos. The first video is a basic guide on how you can install my UI in three simple steps. And more importantly, learn how to customize the UI to track your own trinket, spells, and other advanced logic. The second video is a 90 minute long vod showing you how I built an entire UI from scratch together with Twitch chat. All these revamped weak auras are also now foreign language compatible so it works even if you're not playing the English version of the game. And with that out of the way, let me walk you through the components of my UI for each spec so you know exactly how they function for the monk after you import it into your own game. Let's first talk about the Brewmaster. We'll talk about the roles of Icon first. The top row tracks your rotational abilities, which is the bread and butter of the buttons you will press. Naturally, when the abilities are on cooldowns, the icons will be desaturated and greyed out. The core abilities here include Blackout Kick, Tech Smash, Breath of Fire, Celestial Brew for Mitigation, and your Covenant ability. I have specifically configured it such that your Covenant ability in the user interface will change dependent on which Covenant you are in. And I finished the role with tracking of an unused trinket, but you can easily configure this trinket to be a trinket of your own or to swap it out for another ability to track. My how to install video will show you how to customize for trinkets. The second row tracks my defensives and self-sustain as a tank, starting with the icons from the left. It tracks Expel Harm, Zen Meditation, Dampen Harm if talented, as well as Fortifying Brew. The rest of the row then tracks your utilities, including Transcendence, Ring of Peace, and Ox Statue, depending on what you have talented for, as well as Detox and your mobility spells. Moving on to the elements above the icons, you will see a big white digit in the middle that represents your stagger, as a percentage of your max health. This digit will change to yellow or red, dependent on your level of stagger. You will also see below the big white digit two horizontal green bars that represents your purifying brew charges, as well as a yellow bar that represents your energy. This energy bar will turn red when you're running low on energy to alert you that you need to pull energy in order to cack smash. Above the stagger digit, you will see a buff bar. This tracks your purified cheese stacks, how much absorbed value your celestial brew has left, dodge chance via elusive brawler, Tempen harm and fortifying brew durations, as well as other externals your healers might use on you. That concludes the Brewmaster, let's talk about the Windwalker next. For Windwalkers, I'll start by covering the icons. You'll see the first row contains your rotational abilities. Chi Burst or Chi Wave are both tracked, along with Rising Sun Kick, Fist of Fury, Whirling Dragon Punch, and your offensive cooldowns, including Storm Earth Fire and Invoke Jian. I've also included Covenant abilities here, so depending on which Covenant you are, icon will track the respective icons without you having to make edits. As always, when your spells are not usable, they will become greyed out and desaturated, with a timer ticking down to represent its cooldown. The second row tracks your defensives and other utilities, including Expel Harm, Touch of Karma, Fortifying Brew, Dampen Harm, Diffuse Magic, Touch of Death, Ring of Peace, and other mobility options. Moving to the top, you will see a horizontal yellow bar that represents energy. You will also see five horizontal bars that are in green color that represents the chi you will build up as a windwalker. And beyond that, you will see a buff bar that tracks various offensive bars and cooldowns, as well as your defensives. These include your Storm Earth Fire uptime, Invoke Jian uptime, Energizing Elixir, Weapons of Order, and other relevant procs for the windwalker. That concludes the windwalker, let's talk about the Mistweaver next. For Mistweaver, I'll start off by covering the icons. You'll see the first row contains your healing abilities that have a cooldown attached to them. We are not tracking spells that have no cooldowns to them in a healing UI, as those can be used whenever you want. In the first row, we have Renewing Mist, Thunder Focus T, Essence Fawn, Invoke Yulon, Revival, and Life Cocoon. As usual, the first row comes in stock with Covenant abilities that will change dependent on which Covenant you are for your Mistweavers. It works for all four of them. The second row then tracks your defensives and utilities, including Diffuse Magic, Fortifying Brew, Touch of Death, and equally important for Mistweavers, your offensive rotation, including Rising Sun Kick and Blackout Kick in the middle of the second row. It then rounds off with your utility in the form of Lake Sweep, 
Ring of Peace, Detox, and your mobility traits. You will see there's a green horizontal bar above the icons that represents your mana bar, and the white digit above it represents the percentage of your mana that you have left. Your mana bar will turn red when you are below 25% mana to alert you that you'll be running dry of mana soon. And that sums up the Mistweaver UI. And there you have it friends, that sums up my walkthrough for all the UIs of the three specs of a monk in the Shadowlands. You can find a step-by-step -step video install guide in the description below that covers how to install the UI in three simple steps, as well as to answer some FAQs including how to track your own abilities, trinkets, move the weak auras, and resize them amongst other questions. My website where you download the UIs also have detailed instructions on how to install them, all feedback and questions are welcomed. For feedback, definitely drop them in my Discord community and I will update the week or us over time to address bugs and fixes. If you have questions about the UI, feel free to drop by my live stream. I stream most of the days of the week. My Twitch handle is in the description below. Happy to answer any of your questions live. If this video was helpful, do subscribe to my channel. I publish daily Shadowlands videos and will release class week or us for all the other classes in World of Warcraft. Lastly, a big thank you to my Patreon subscribers for supporting me in the creation of these UIs and week or us. You folks make it possible for me to build and maintain the UIs for all the classes. And a big thank you to you for supporting the video. Take care and enjoy the user interfaces for the monk.